The Niagara Children's Water Festival was held this week. Over 2,000 students visited Brock University to learn more about our most valuable natural resource. It's been a great two days. We're in our second day of three. Uh, it's our 20th anniversary of the Niagara Children's Water Festival this year. Uh, the past three years have been run virtually, so we're so excited to be back in person and judging by the smiling faces behind us, um, that's, it's, it's turned out very well. Has the mandate changed over these 20 years at all? Uh, no, it hasn't. Uh, our activities and the purpose uh, behind this festival has always been to educate students of grade three and four uh, age groups about water conservation, water technology, water science, uh, and just uh, protecting our greatest resource, which is water. Why is this the right age to accomplish that? Uh, so grades three and four is just that time when uh, students of this age are becoming more aware of their community. Uh, and, uh, you know, they're like sponges and they're going to bring back all that they learn back to their home, their communities, their schools. Numerous stations were set up both inside and out with students rotating to new learning opportunities every half hour. How are the kids reacting to your high energy? Uh, I'm biased because I think I'm awesome. Um, but, uh, but yeah, I've been, been having a really good time. I mean, uh, the, the transition back, um, you know, it's been a big thing for kids, right? That uh, going from the pandemic where there's lots of virtual schooling. So for me, there was a certain amount of concern that it's like, this for some kids is like the first time they've been out on a field trip, like ever. Um, so the learning curve of figuring out what appropriate behavior is for a field trip um, was a little bit, uh, okay, but th they've been awesome. Uh, they've been enthusiastic. We've had some good questions and uh, they've certainly been all very uh, enthusiastic and respective of, uh, of the presentation that they're in. The region received some significant support to ensure the festival was a success. So Brock University is our newest partner, along with um, OPG, Ontario Power Generation, uh, NPCA, Niagara Peninsula Conservation Authority, and the City of St. Catharines. You don't just have partners, you have volunteers. Yes. Tell me about those people that are giving up their time for you. Yeah, so we have about 120 volunteers this week. Uh, they do everything from uh, traffic to activity presenting, to um, assisting with uh, just just moving things along, right? It's it's not easy moving this many kids through activities, and and so without them, uh, it wouldn't it wouldn't go as swimmingly as it has. No pun intended. In Niagara, you're watching the source on your TV.